Yeah. So, so when you go into training camp, you'll just get half of the field goal kicks every day in practice, or how's <laughs> Yeah, it's 50%. <laughs> it's good math. Good how long was that field goal? Huh? How long was that field goal? I know, I know I missed, like, the 45. I don't know. About the, it was, like, 38 or 40-ish. I don't know. Something like that. It's a good toe jam. 60, sure. <laughs> yeah, 60. I call it 60. <laughs> Obviously, you've made these kicks before. That's why they had you go up there. What's, like, the longest you've ever made? <sighs> Shoot, I don't know. I just, I just kicked off in high school, and I toe jammed a lot of stuff. And I was a backup kicker in high school, so... They said, who can kick field goals? And I was like, I can, I can do it. So. <laughs> we have 10 more kicking questions for you, so yeah. be ready. <laughs> uh, when we talked to Tyron Smith yesterday, he said it feels like you've been here longer than you have, like you've been your fourth-year player. What does it mean to hear him talk about your maturity like that? And where do you see your growth in the offensive line room since last year? Um, I, I think it means a lot, uh, personally, um, for him to say that. Um, I, I do work hard. Um, I do, you know, study my playbook. I do my job, and I take pride in doing it. Um, and, you know, I, I, I learn quick, and I want to learn quick. And I, you know, I ask, I ask a lot of questions. And I, you know, as much as I can say how much I work at it, I just take pride in my job and um, the position I am on this team. And um, as a center, you need to, you need to do that, and you need to, uh, you need to know the playbook, and you need to know um, tougher situations and. Um, you got to be that guy. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a it's a great. Um, com I've been talking to Tyron a lot during practice um, on some stuff, and he's been a great mentor. Um, you know, I talked to Tyron and uh, Zach uh, quite a bit, um, even though they're they're not doing a lot of OTA stuff with us. Uh, I still talk to him a lot um, and get some tips and everything, and it means means a lot to me, especially with their experience. And um, yeah, they're great leaders, and you know, I, I like to be one of them. So. How much did you grow last year? So many different situations on the line and quarterback. And how did you grow last year at your position? Did he say grow? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's a it's a big jump. Obviously, um, the the year. I mean, I mean, last year was definitely different. I mean, you know, you didn't have a crowd, you didn't have anything. But when it comes down to it, it's football. Um, you know, and I think honestly, it kind of simulated you know practice in a way because you didn't have a crowd, so. Um, but the experience and playing wise definitely is a huge jump. I think that helped me a lot, um, even though I only, you know, I actually played a handful of games. You know, I played, you know, six, um, I think six games, um, started four. But, um, but I was ready to play. Um, you know, I remember, you know, coming in the Seattle game, and, you know, I, I remember when Joe went down and I, and I was ready, and, and it was just like, you know, coming in for Joe and, from practice, you know, when I get uh, two reps and I'm with Dak still. So, I mean, um, you know, it's, you know, it's how you practice, how you play. I mean, that's, that's, you know, been my motto too. And, um, since I've been growing up and still growing here and I think, um, you know, coach McCarthy mentioned, um, in the off season, like, you know, like, the, like the, the rookies from last year, you know, you gotta, you gotta make the second year jump. And, um, I made, I took pride in, you know, what he said and, um, basically just, you know, put my head to the ground and kept learning and kept doing it the right way and asked the right questions. What happened in the warm-ups there? I can't remember which day it was when, when you got hurt. What, what happened? Um, it was a freak thing. Um, just, uh, you know, <laughs> it's kind of just, uh, I don't know, I pulled my hamstring. I mean, long story short. But, um, you know. I mean, I mean, I just, I just did a couple of takeoffs and I pulled my hamstring. So I don't know what else to say about it. Freak thing, you know. Took pride in um, learning about my body this off season a lot, um, and so that does not happen. And um, actually, that was that was actually one of the things I, I really took um, ownership of was my body this off season. And I have uh, made a lot of changes to it, and I've. Um, I grew in the knowledge um, perspective of obviously healthier diet and um, you know the ins and outs of why that happened and um, I, I grew I grew from it a lot and I I'm a lot stronger than I was 
you know, last fall or last July, you know, so um, definitely took ownership of that and made sure it won't happen again, so. How different do you feel from a command standpoint in this offense? Do you feel like you've got a real strong hold on the entire O-line operation? I, I do. I do feel that. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and what, what, did, what did it take to reach that level despite being only, only in your second year, not having had a preseason last year, not having had a spring at all to, to reach that point? What, what, what does that take? I mean, shoot, like, it would have been nice having the OTAs last year for sure. Um, but it, it takes confidence, and it, and, and it, takes, and it takes ownership of what, what you're doing and, and what's your job title, and, and it's just it's a, it's a level of you have to commit and you have to, you have to, know, you have to know what you're doing. Like, and, and I think the perspective of it was, like, you know, this offseason, you know, you had all this time. And, you know, we had a lot of workouts with the O linemen and you built that camaraderie and you and you're with them a lot, which is which is great. Um, chemistry is great. That's what you need. But also you you got to as a center, you got to look yourself in the mirror, be like, you, you got to be the guy like you got to make the calls. You got to have confidence with it. And yeah, we're, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. But as a standpoint of like limiting mistakes and. You know, you gotta be in your playbook. You gotta, you gotta do what you need to do to do your job right. And um, you know, I look back on film from last year, and I've studied a lot, and um, talked to my O line coach, about Nick, Coach Philbin, and Coach Blasco, and I've, I've took time out of my days just to, you know, do things in the moment, and you know, get a call out quick, and and have adjustments, and you know, what do you see here, and everything. So I mean, I've. I've talked to him, and, I've, and I've, like I said before, I've asked a lot of questions. Um, you know, I just want to be a sponge. I want to learn, and um, I take pride in that, and just doing my job well and um, up to par. You know, I mean, you you have a you have a big duty to do um, as a center, and you know, I take pride in doing it the right way. You mentioned your diet. What, what are some of the things you've eliminated, or or how have you changed? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I just eat healthy. I mean. I, I just eat the, the right foods, and um, I think uh, Coach Philbin would speak on that because uh, last year was, uh, I was a big French toast guy. So if you guys <laughs> wanted to know what I was eating, I mean, obviously, you know, I eat more than just French toast, but like, you know, it's one of my favorite breakfasts. But I don't, I don't eat it anymore. So, <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, no overall, overall perspective, it was just fueling my body. I mean, making sure, like, you know. I'm eating like you know five meals a day. Like I'm, I'm making sure I'm feeling so I have more energy, so I, I'm not fatiguing and I'm not having those uh, moments where like you know, like freak accidents, you know, that happen like that, you know, before the game and, and making sure like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm doing like stretching, I'm doing yoga, um, you know, I, I just I just took pride in my body and it wasn't that I wasn't doing it wrong before. It was just how can I better myself even better? And I talked about. Um, the other the other week um, with one of our interview guys, I was just talking to him like how I want I just want to be the best version of myself, and that's and that's what I'm going for the whole 2021 you know season. I just want to be the best version I possibly can be, and let the chips fall where they fall. So. Tyler, what's it like working with Dak at the line of scrimmage, and how does he help you with some of what he's calling out? That's great. I, I love working with Dak. Um, you know, I've I've uh, Took time this off season to go uh, throw with all the quarterbacks, really, um, whenever they threw with the wide receivers and stuff, and um, just to, just to build chemistry with each one of them. And you know, obviously, uh, when we were at the ones, Dax in there the most. And you know, I, I love talking to him about the game, and I, I love talking to him what he sees. And you know, I even put that in my, one of my exit interviews. I want to I want to know what Dax seeing, so it's like we're 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 two minds combined, like at the line of scrimmage. So like. Um, you know, I, I, I talk to him when I need to, you know, ask, ask the questions I need to ask and see what he sees, and, and then um, we play ball. So, I mean, uh, it's great working with him, and he's a great, he's a great guy. Um, he's a, I think I always, like, view Dak as a, as a great guy, and he's a great teammate, and, you know, he's just a great friend. Um, so, you know, I got a lot, I could, I could talk about Dak all day. He's great. Um, but, 
no, working with them is awesome. I love it. I enjoy it. Um, and I love being on the same page, obviously. So I made an emphasis to that last season. Are you, are, you, are you guys there yet in terms of being on of the same mind? Or is that something that you yeah. probably need to be a little bit more battle-tested in a game? No, yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're on the same page, yeah. Um, and I make an emphasis that, you know, if I, if I don't hear, like, a call or whatever, I make sure I get it, you know, and all that stuff. So, I mean... You know, we're, we're, we're on the same page and everything, and um, we're doing well. It's great. And just, and just to clarify, you said that was something you mentioned in your exit interview. Who is that interview with? Like the position coach? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm just talking, like, about my position coaches and everything, and um, they said, like, what do you want to improve on? And I was just, like, making sure I'm on the same page with Dak. I mean, or honestly, whoever's back there, you know, because obviously we had, you know, three to four guys back there last year. So... And, you know, that's quite hard when you're, you're going week to week and someone goes down or whatever. But um, that's why I made an emphasis of going to throwing and um, making sure I'm on the same, you know, cadence variations or whatever it is, you know, like I'm on the same page and all that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, obviously Dak's our guy. And I want to first obviously be, you know, with him. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. we got time for one more, guys. Tyler, was there a little uh, trash talking to the defense after the show <laughs> That's what they. That's what they got. All right. Uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. It's competitive. Competitive period. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, they're t my teammates. Yeah, but you know, I'm a competitive guy, and um, we scored, so I'm going to celebrate, and that's what we did. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.